welcome back to the channel. Today we're reviewing and unboxing not one, but two Wolverine figures. The one's actually a surprise. This big old bad boy right here. Wasn't expecting this huge whopping of a fucking figure. I'm sorry. I had to say that. I was expecting a six inch figure. You know, like this bad boy right here. This one here. Wasn't expecting that humongous thing. But we will do him in just a bit. Providing the cat doesn't destroy things. All right. So what we have here, this is the Mafex Wolverine. Let me adjust this just a little bit. There we go. Now. Here we are. Side of the box. This way. Back of the box. We don't turn that. And the other side of the box. We're not going to turn that. And then we get the top of the box. We ain't going to turn that either. But what we are going to do is we're going to give you some zoomed in. Grr face. What the heck you doing there, face? I'm too old for this shit face. And a cow. Hands. More hands. Boots. Gotta love them boots. There we go. Look at that. Marvel Mafex Wolverine from the X-Men collection. And look at that. Wolverine comic version. Hence, the Tiger Stripes. Now, let's get him open, shall we? Ching. Yeah. Now most people like to cut straight to him out of the box. Me, I like to give you guys a little extra more entertainment. You know, all that wonderful plastic sound. Yeah, yo. Then we put the box down here because we don't need it right now until we go to put the fun stuff back in. But. What you get in the box is there's that wonderful plastic sound you guys love. I know you guys love that sound. I think it makes it more authentic when you guys go through the experience with me. And already out of the box we get that wonderful head sculpt. I love that damn head. That's a good head. We'll just go ahead and set him right there. Now, what we get here is the... There's the cow I was telling you about. That's for the unmasked head. It'll slide right on top of Wolverine. Gotcha. Gur face Wolverine. We love the Gur face. And we get the figure itself. We'll prop them up right there because, you know, feet. Get two open hands. Those right there, and you get the two clawed hands. I see. I like these. I like these claws. It's a comic book. You know, they're supposed to be long. I've heard people complain about how they're not accurate. How they go. <laughs> people say. They're supposed to go the length of his forearm. Well, it's a comic book character. I mean, I've seen other versions of the Wolverine where the blades are thicker than his arms. Okay, I mean, let's 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 just not let's just not go there with that. 
but we also get a display stand. We're not going to use that today, though. No, we're not. We're not. We're not worried about that one. No. But what we are going to worry about is oh, look right there. Plastic. Plastic people. Look, which means we gotta. We gotta take that damn. We gotta take these legs off. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we're gonna have to take the leg off. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to take the leg off. Maybe. We'll just dislocate it down a little bit. Aha. Boom. Ha ha. And yes, in okay, case you guys just saw that, he does have double hinge legs. So it can come down. Oh, yeah. Now, this Wolverine here is based off the comic book. It's a good Wolverine. I like it. It's very beautiful. Now, a lot of people are mad about the tiger strop all being blue. Me, I don't mind it. I prefer it sometimes. And he's got a beautiful, look at that, look at that arm hair. Look at that. Very articulate. I love this figure. Ever since I first saw somebody review it, I think it was the Foosh. I like that guy. He did a he did a review on it. Very good review. I love that guy. You don't if you don't know who that is, go check him out. The Foosh is good. F W O O O S H. That might be one O too many. I'm not sure. But anyways, what you get out of the box is regular Wolverine. He is good. He's got a lot of articulation. I love this thing. He's got all that fun stuff. Look at that. Yeah. Look at all that beautiful knee articulation. Look at that. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. You can do all kinds of stuff. He's got that don't mess with me pup. Look at his face. Articulation. Look at that. Elbow. Very good. This elbow. Good. Yeah. Very good. Very, very good. Now, a lot of people were having problems with paint splashes. Maybe a little bit of, you know, they were having some paint deco problems. Like, like say, right here, where it doesn't quite line up. I'm not really that picky. But, if you can also look, and I love this, in the muscle lines on the suit, mine's picking it up pretty good. You can see where they use a darker yellow for the muscle tone all throughout the figure. I love that. It's really good. Now, a lot of people are having problems with this bicep right here popping off really good. I don't know about that. I'm not going to deal with that right now. But if it pops off during this review, you know, then it just pops off. We'll just snap it back in place. But, you know, so you've got articulation-wise, you've got that and i know i'm already using it on this black background so he's really not coming out and then he looks down that much you've got 360 arm swivel you've got double jointed elbows you've got full wrist swivel you've got double hands knees you got that bad boy he goes down like that Foot goes up like this, extra toe pivot. Then we got all that beautiful. Look at that right there, right there. Yeah, he can do all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And if you want, we'll do this like right here. The leg comes, you can, it's got a double jointed, I don't think it's called double jointed leg. I'm not sure. My, my, my Dragon Ball Z figures have them, but you can do that right there and you can get an extra wide. Boot to the face, bub. You know, it's really cool. We like it. It's awesome. And, you know, also, the shoulder pads, they're also on its own joint. They come down, you know, if they, if they need to. And the, look at that beautiful butterfly joint right there. Just kind of just, everything just kind of just goes in real well. Now, I've noticed it. Now, this one's got it. It's... Got the Wolverine's drop right there, but 
Oh. Well. Maybe mine's in this a little too far. I don't know. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. There's a butterflies right there. That my tire strap doesn't come out too far. Like that right there does. See? But it's still good. It's okay. I'm not going to be mad at it. But anyways. Now. What we came here to see. We're going to take this head off right here. It comes off real easily. And we're going to put on the Anger Face Wolverine. Yeah. Boom. Snap. Did you hear that? Yeah. Look at that. I'm the best at what I do. And what I do isn't very nice. As he likes to say. You know. Look at that. Look at that. He's got that beautiful, beautiful grr face. Arr. Anyways. That's not what you come here to see. You've come to see the... The claws. That's what we come here to see. The claws. Let me make sure I get these on the right hands because, you know, that'd be very, very embarrassing, wouldn't it? Very embarrassing. Wouldn't want to do that. If you're any background noise, that's uh that's a little bit she's uh playing around in here. She's doing her thing. But anyways. Yeah, there we go. Sneak sneak. Yeah. Get those beautiful claws out of there. Look at that. Just, yeah. yeah. Those beautiful claws out right there. See what I mean about that shoulder pad? It comes off. It adjusts. So it, as needed, it'll adjust as needed. You know, because, you know, it's beautiful that way. We love adjusting stuff. See? It comes out right there. Beautiful, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. There he is. Let's see if we can get him to stand up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's a beautiful rain. It's probably one of my favorites. I ain't gonna lie. That's definitely a favorite. But, since we're playing with the head sculpts today, we'll just take... Oh, that one. Oh, that one's off a little bit. But then we'll take the unmasked. Pop that on there just as good. See, there he is. If you want to just have him do that, you want to come at me, come at me. You know, that beautiful face that that's the face he gives you when you know shit's about to go sideways. It is, it is. But you take that off, take this wonderful piece right here, it slides on. About like that right there. That way, see? It's got that beautiful, beautiful hood. And it pops right back on there. That way, if you need to, you can always just, you know, get one of those, get those beautiful behind-the-scenes shots, you know. You know. It looks good. It looks good. It looks really good. I'm really, really impressed with this figure. It's got a lot of waste. It's got some, some waste pivots. Look at that. You know, I'm probably not the best at this here, but, you know, hey, I'm learning. It's a good figure. You know, you can do some really good aerial shots if you ever need to, you know, get him to do it. You know, whooshing. Yeah. Coming right off them things. You know, that's what he does. It's a good figure. It's a good figure. I like it. I'm really shocked the uh, <laughs> fabled uh, bicep <laughs> hasn't come off yet like uh, everybody else has been having. But uh, I've got mine a few months later than everybody else. So, but yeah, that's the uh, the Mafex Wolverine. He's a pretty cool little figure. Slide this down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, he's pretty. He's got that don't mess with me pop a little bit. A little, get some head tilt. Yeah, there we go. Some head tilt. Really get him looking right at you. It's like, hey, you don't want to mess with this. It's 
a good figure. It's a really good figure. Now, since we got that bad boy out of the way, I say we move these. He's got some really good articulate hammer. You can do all kinds of stuff with him. I like this. I apologize for any scratches you see. Yeah. That belongs to the kitty cat. She gets really playful. But anyways. I know about the kitty cat. We're not here for the kitty cat. We're here for the other guy with claws. Yeah. So. Let's see here. We got this guy right here he's looking good yeah now since we've got him done I say we do some poses with him let's see here we've got him doing this right here we can get him doing this right here so we did poses Yeah. He does really good. He, he's 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 a really good figure. I like him. Yeah, get him. Get him going really good here, you know. Look at that. Really good pose. If we can get him done. If we can get it to stay, you know, they, they don't tell, they don't tell. You know, it's, it's really good. I'm probably not the best at it, but, you know, hey, I'm, I'm learning. But he does balance on his own pretty good. That's the, that's the good part. He does. Look at that. You can do all kinds of good poses with him. I'm probably not the best at when I'm doing unboxing, but I'll definitely do some, some more poses with him, you know. And get him to stay. <laughs> yeah. But you know. But one of my favorite Wolverine poses is where he's got to sway down like this right here, you know. Just got him like that right there. He's ready to just tear somebody up. You know. Oh, is that it? Yep, is that it? Uh, look up. There we go. Yeah, it's a good pose. I like it when he, he just got him splayed out by the sides like that. And all of a sudden he just swooshing. Gives you a nice little uppercut. And next thing you know, that's in your gullet. Yeah. Like that right there. He's like, yeah. But anyways. I appreciate you guys sticking around for all this hootenanny. We're going to cut this video short. And then uh, we're going to come back and do another video. We're going to unbox the 12-inch uh, Marvel Legends. So, uh, you know, I should have them both posted here in a bit. So... This is kind of a part one to a two-part unboxing. Actually, this is part one of a part three unbox, part four unboxing. I'm sorry, because I've also got the uh, Castlevania figures, the uh, Netflix series. I got the figures for those, so I'll be unboxing those as well. And tomorrow, we are getting the seven-inch NECA... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 90s series Shredder and Splinter to complete the set. Well, my set anyway. They're still foot soldiers. I didn't get those. I got I got what was important. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next video here in just a little while. Um, hope you guys enjoy this one. See ya.